Finally, a road trip. Clovis, New Mexico, here we come. Oh, I'm going to Clovis. I sure didn't notice by the time I went to Clovis. Hey, please stop. I got 1,138,000 miles to go. I can't listen to that all the time. What are we going to do then? How about we sing that bottles of beer song? 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. Take one down. Hey, that, Larry. I got it. Let's do the hottest male Barbie dolls ever. Lame. 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 I got it. Your favorite Hasbro toys from the 80s, but they're not Geos or Transformers related. Hasbro sucks in the 80s. Come on, it'd be fun. Let's start it. Visionaries. Oh yeah, I had that one. That was a good line. Well, since Jumpman can't show you a picture on here, let me, Paul Harvey, show you some pictures. The first one on their list was Visionaries. A nice looking action figure line that used a hologram to lure the kids in. What a great line from the 80s from Hasbro. I had that. How about Air Raiders? OMG, like my brother had that. Oh, that's a good one, Larry. Even I forgot about Air Raiders. Uh, this was great because you got more than just one figure in the pack. You got a few of them. What about Orient? That's G.I. Joe related. Hey, it's not. Well, it's from the same universe. Arm he ants. <laughs> if you ask me, that should have just been in bubblegum machines. How didn't Hasbro make belly buttons? TikTok, OMG, BFF. That's not an action figure line. I'm going to count it. Good one, Dusty. OMG, like TikTok and Snapchat. Larry's right. These are not action figures. They're, they connect to your belly button and they're just grossed out toys. And I can't believe that the gang would even list this on their list. What else? What else? Calm down, Charlie. How'd you get here? But we ditched you. Now I'm here. I'm ready to play. There's my little buddy, Primetime Charlie. I have to admit, I'm really glad to see that he went along on this road trip also. I was starting to get kind of worried. And what's he talking about? I don't know. These things right here, I never heard of them, to be completely honest with you. Okay, Wuzzles. Whatever. Anyone else? Ninja Warriors. Enemies of evil. I love that line, Larry. Great one, Larry. That one's like OMG base TikTok. I agree with Larry on this one. Ninja Warriors is a good line. In fact, Gladys, my wife, we still play it today. We lay on the carpet in the living room, hell, and we play Ninja Warriors, sometime without the figures. How about Moon Dreams? Moon Dreams? How in the hell do you even know Moon Dreams? I had them. I mean, my sister had them. I, I don't know. I never heard of them before. He definitely had them. Larry, I have to say, I'm a little disappointed. You never judge a man by the toy he plays with. In fact, anyone can play with any type of toy. And Moon Dreams was a fun toy at that. How about Inhumans? Yeah, I love that line. Kind of scary, but great. Classic. This is probably going to be their best toy on the list. I tell you, I love Inhumans. It was released, of course, by Hasbro, like all the other toys on this list, and it was just a lot of fun to play with, and I could play with it today if I had any. Flower! That doesn't count, PTC. It's made by Hasbro. It's cute, TikTok. Oh my God, the MOG. Did that little shit just say Glowworm? Okay, this game's getting off the rails. Please don't say that. It triggers me. How can that trigger you? It reminds me of when I was 14 and I ran away from home. How does that rem off the rails remind you of that? That Run away train, never going back. Run away on a one-way ah, stop track. singing. How about Jim and the Hologram? Oh, yeah. Jim is my name. No sense in the same. I'm Jim. My name is Jim Adventure. And the glamour and the glitter and the gem. Stop. <sighs> That's it. No more games. No more talking until we get to New Mexico. Now I didn't notice that girl down in Clovis. She has a black hair beauty. She set fire to me. Green lady in old jeans that were faded. I didn't even notice what would happen in Clovis. But I caught her baby. 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 Still can't believe it. Junk mobile broke down. We'll never get to Clovis, New Mexico. Don't worry, the junk gang. They went to get help. They'll get the car fixed and we'll be back on the road. That's true. That's true. I tell you, being out here in the desert, sure does remind me of the early 90s. It reminds you of the early 90s? What about the early 90s? Desert Storm. The war in the <laughs> Gulf. Remember that? Yeah, it was a crazy time. Was it 90? Going into 91? Desert Storm. America at war. I remember it well. And the toy companies took advantage. Yeah, you're right. The toy companies did take advantage of it. There was a lot of toys released that was related to war toys. Now, I guess it's always been war toys, right? G.I. Joe. Of course, G.I. Joe and some other ones, but 
seemed like right there 1991 you know the 1990 toy companies were trying their best to cash in on desert storm they to make a lot of war toys that's right an action figure actually called desert storm yeah released in 1991 they even used the name desert storm can you believe it <laughs> yeah remember the desert storm trading cards <laughs> yeah i remember the desert storm trading cards also that was that was crazy. What about desert dogs? Desert dogs? Yeah, desert dogs. Can't say I remember desert dogs. Also released in 1991. 1991, you say? Well, that sounds about right. I remember in 1990, right around the tail end of it, war was already going on, and one toy company released a line called Desert Patrol. Desert Patrol. Remember that one? Not at all. Nah, a lot of people don't remember that one either, but they sure did it. How about also released in 1991? Desert Shield. Desert Shield? Huh, that was a lot of toys named Desert, wasn't they? That's crazy. I guess that was just a way to cash in on Desert Storm and everything. Well, let's see. What else were they? Hmm. I remember one toy line called Sand Patrol. Remember Sand Patrol? Sambo? No, Sand Patrol. Remember that one? Mm, let's see, I remember that one. Now, what well, year? That was 1991, Sand Patrol, but it was actually American Defenders Sand... Relax, Ameri get it out. It was actually American Defenders Sand Patrol. Thank you, Larry. I finally got it out. Uh, American Defenders were already out. I think it came out like 89. It came out before the war, but then they did a subdirectory called Sand Patrol. I've never seen that one. you never seen Sand Patrol? Well, you're not the only one, because although I've heard about it, I couldn't find it on on the internet. I googled it. I could find only one picture. Only one picture. Yeah, just one? That's not crazy. I don't know what it is. Remember the toy line Fight Talk? Remember that? Fight Talk. Yep, also 1991. Then that was that one with a bunch of letters that meant something. Matt Pack? Matt, Matt Pack? Is that how you say it? M-A-P. I don't know what it stood for. Matt Pack. 1991 also. Huh. They sure did release a lot in 1991 when it came to War toys, and of course you had G.I. Joe going strong, and some other toy lines, for sure. Whew. You think the crew's uh, found anyone to come tow us in yet? I don't know, it's a long walk, and mm. you know how slow Primetime Charlie walks. I can't really think of any more. I can't really think of any more that, uh, war. I'm sure there's more of them, I just can't really think of any more. I right can't now. believe they made war toys right at the hype of war. Never put it past the toy company's greed. To earn some money, Whew. that was a lot of a lot of war figures for one year. Are you two guys looking for some trouble? No, no, not not looking for trouble. No. no. Well, you found some trouble, I would say. <laughs> <coughs> Now, come on, we'll make it. Just take your shirt off like I did. I can't. I can't. It's just, it's just too hot. Too much fur. Too much fur. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for a razor. I cut it all off. Why don't you to take your shirt off anyway? You're gonna get us killed. Because it was a green shirt, and it blends in with the green screen. And Look, Chewie. Can we at least play a game or something to waste time? How about the top ten toys that start with the letter Z? Oh, Lord, that's too much for me to think about right now. OMG. Food. I need food. I got it. How about fun toys you play on long car trips? I need to eat. Here's one. Puzzle USA. It was a little slide puzzle that looked like the United States of America. You had to put all the states in play. OMG, you BFF. That sounds like an educational toy to me. It was. And it was hard. Can't think. Food. Need food. Y'all remember Magic Slate? They did so many of those. From TV shows to movies to cartoons. It was like the iPad of the 70s. Well, I love those things. You couldn't eat it, but it was fun. It reminded me of those invisible ink pads. There were so many of them. Games, do's and don'ts. <laughs> so many. I love the battleship game and the connect the squares. PDC's looking like a hot dog. OMG, I had the drive yourself crazy game. OMG, it was like this little car that moved left or right on this cheap piece of plastic that was connected to a conveyor belt. Oh, it was a lot of fun. That was fun, but man, it was hardest down the road. Are y'all talking about fun to drive? No, that was the dashboard for your lap. It was fun in the car on a trip. You put it in your lap and you're like your dad driving across the country looking for the next Hardys. i tell you one car toy I hated. That damn yo-yo on a coat hanger. 
Yeah, it was like some toys left over from the 30s that made it into the 70s somehow. It sucked. It was only fun for about 30 seconds. What about the ring toss water game? Water. Food. That's a classic. So much. <laughs> well, that was until your dad hit a pothole. And then there was Etcher Sketch. I hear it was fun, but my hands were too small to turn the knobs. I can never draw anything but a staircase. Food. Anyone have food? We can't talk travel toys while talking about Game Boy. Finally, it was like we could take our Nintendo on the road with us. Green and black graphics, but we didn't care. It changed the whole travel game toy experience. No pun intended. And the classic Silly Putty. Silly Putty? How is that fun in the car? Well, you could roll up in a ball, stretch it, break it, put it back together. If you had a comet, you could press it down and take the pictures off. It was so much fun. I used to eat it. Eat it? Food? What? Where? Huh? We really got to find Chewy some food. What's that noise? I hope it's a taco truck. That ain't no taco truck. Ben? Ben Kenobi? No, I'm not Ben Kenobi. My name is Thaddeus Blackstone. You guys seem to have found some trouble. It's okay, our friends went for help. It'll be up and running soon. Probably just needs a jump. Your friends, you say? A Wookiee? A little Jawa? And a 70s social media queen. How did you know? I saw them. A few miles down, near Rachel, Nevada. Your friends? Well, let's say they're headed on their own adventure now. I knew it. I told you they wouldn't come back. That's what we get for letting Gangster hold the money. <sighs> Don't worry, my friends. I can help. It just so happens I'm headed to Clovis, New Mexico also. And I could give you a ride. You'll do that for us? For free? It ain't nothing free. You'll have to earn the trip. Okay. Okay. No, no, Junkman. You must tell me ten facts about Kenner Star Wars toys that most don't know. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. This will be easy. Uh, let's see. The Plastic Cape Jawa was also released on the Empire Strikes Back card in very low numbers and only found in Australia. Very good. How about this one? Blue Snaggletooth didn't only just come in the cantina set like most people think. You could also order him through the Sears catalog in a three-pack. Well, not really a three. It came three in a box with the other bounty hunters. So you didn't have to buy the actual playset to get the Blue Snaggletooth. But you did have to get it for Sears. And look at his favorite Star Wars toy wasn't even sold in the U.S. It was the wind-up R2-D2. Oh, I have fond memories of that little droid. How about this one? There's a A-wing pilot, but there's no A-wing in the movie line. And there's a Y-wing, but there's no pilot to fly it. There was two in A-wing. No, no, the A-wing was released in the droid line. There was no A-Wing in the official movie line, but there was a figure. That's a keen eye for detail, my friend. Okay, okay, how about the last 17? Everyone always says the last 17, the last 17, but it's really the last 15. Two of those Ewoks, they always count? Well, they were released in late 1984 on the Jedi card, making them not Power of the Force figures. So, it's the last 15. Word. That's what I call one lovely loophole, Larry. How about this one? Jerry Springer was one of the first people to get some Star Wars figures and the figure stand. He was the mayor of Cincinnati at the time, so Kenner gave him one. I don't really know why, but there's a photo of him with it. And Grace Kelly was on the board of 20th Century Fox, and she got the first ever Star Wars figures before anyone else. What a lovable princess she was. I had tea with her many, many times. How about this one? When Kenner designed the ad at they didn't know how to get figures inside of it because it's not shown in the movie. They had to make it themselves. They even asked Lucasfilm and they didn't know. So they made the opening cockpit on the head of it and the door on the side of the ad at so figures could go inside. Give me more play value. And we all know early Bear Luke came with a longer lightsaber. But do most people know that Chewbacca came with a darker green gun? You know, I've always heard that, but I never really could tell the difference when I see them. You have to hold it up to the light. I'll have to try that. Okay, friends. One more. You got nothing, you? Nah, draw the blank, G. How about this one? In the Sears Canadian Wish Book, there's a figure from the Star Wars line called Tusk. Well, it's an Ugnut, but the catalog says Tusk of Ugnut. It's pronounced Ugnut. Ugnut? 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 What's it? Anyway, I don't know why they call him Tusk. It's a mystery. Very good, my friends. 
You have earned my trust and my hospitality. I should take you to Clovis. Thank you so much. I agree with Larry this time. Thank you so much, sir. Now we must hurry. The sand people are easily scared, but they return, and often in greater numbers. Sir, sir, it seems Kenobi has escaped and somehow located the Junkman. Find them. Bring them to me. And what about Junkman's friends? Keep them where they are. We might need to use them for bait. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha. Oh no, my head hurts. Mine too. I haven't felt like this since the night I went to the disco with John Davison. I think I'm gonna hurl. Sitting up helps. That it does. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my long legs? I got them. Finally, I'm tall. Finally, I'm tall. OMG, what's going on? I feel like I'm in a TikTok filter. What, what the hell is happening here? And where are we? This place. There's no doors. There's nothing at all. OMG, BFF, TikTok. We're on the UFO. OMG. I think so, dogs. But how do we get out of here? Welcome, Junk Crew. I hope the experiment haven't left you all too rattled. Experiment? What experiment? What did you do? Who are you? Who I am doesn't matter. What does matter is I'm using a Flex Chamber Gas Ray, so your minds have been swapped temporarily. Ha 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 OMG, so we're not going to stay like this. I hope so. I'm pretty. The gas will wear off soon, and you'll be back to your old self. Well, that's good news. But who are you? Where are you? That doesn't matter at all. What matters is soon I will take over the junk room and use it to sell bootleg Anakin Skywalker merchandise at ten times the cost. Ha 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 ha. Anakin merchandise? <laughs> Gross. Who would buy that? Never mind that. Now, I can't let you all go, but I can give you a prize. All you have to do is answer 10 questions. BFF, OMG, whatever. Okay, let's go. Toy Allen is a toy company that has made a lot of good and bad toys. You have to use my clues to tell me what toy line I am talking about. This should be easy. Silicon toys aren't just for Barbies. They were also for toys, and they were used for this 1997 beach toy line. Yeah, come on, dog. Baywatch. watch. Correct. This is a karate chopping figure with a popular video game before it became a toy line. Now that's hard, dog. No, OMG, BFF, it's easy, TikTok, Mortal Kombat. This wannabe Indiana Jones was looking for his mummy. That's easy, even I know this one. The mummy. These space talking toys never had a movie, but they did have another toy line called Video Commando. Hmm, not sure. We're all gonna die. No, 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 I get it, dog. It's Space Attack. Jugman has taught you well. This toy line wasn't exactly based on a movie, but rather based on a whole scary studio. Oh, that's my favorite. OMG, Universal Monsters. In 1988, this line took the popular love of lasers and made it into a toy line. Laser tag! No, 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 it's not laser tag. It was Laser Wars. A smart Wookiee you are. Kenner started this line, but Toy Allen kept the crazy fun going. Hmm, Rocky Road? No, 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 it's the mask. This talking line of action figures had figures with names such as Let's Go and Hit the Dirt. Fighting Dog. I guess I have underestimated you all. This would-be Super Mario had its own toy line in the year 2000. Easy Dog, Sonic. Now one more. Kenner made the toy lines for these future robots, but Toy Allen at least came up with some. OMG, like IDK, TikTok. I don't know at all. Um, I mean, Terminator 2. Very good. Now that you have proven that you know your toys, I will use your mind leader to take over the world. Until then, I will deliver the prize that I promised. Yeah, I hope it's Wii Sports. I broke mine. I hope it's a million followers on TikTok. I hope it's food. Are you sure you guys are okay back there? Plenty of room right up front. Ah, thanks. Good here, all good. So tell me, what's so important about Clovis, New Mexico? Not much there. Someone on Craigslist says they have a very rare Star Wars toy. Oh yeah? What is it? He didn't say. He said his camera was broken and he couldn't take a picture of it. But he had it since he was a kid, never played with. And that it's really rare and sells for a lot of money. And he only wanted $35,000 for it. Cash pickup only. 
Sounds like a deal, I guess. How much farther? Oh, about 15 more miles. We'll be there by noon. Yes. Hopefully, I have a Kmart we can also check out. I've seen a lot of strange things on Craigslist. Even more on that eBay. In fact, just last night I saw someone on eBay selling a 911 rack toy. Remember that show with Captain Oh, Kirk? yeah. I love that show. I saw a Y50 dart gun. I don't remember a punch em down ever ever you having a dart gun. A dart gun? That's funny. Earlier today I saw a Mr. T watch. I had the bid on it. Oh, Mr. T. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. A long time. I saw a Game Boy clock. It was pretty dang cool. When we were back there getting those gas station burritos, I checked eBay and saw a Matt Houston toy gun that came with a silencer. That's kind of badass. I saw a 1983 Star Wars candy mold. You can make your own candy. That's right. You can legally eat Princess Leia. Remember that television show Airwolf? I saw a helicopter two-pack. Ernest Borgnine was even on the card. It's worth getting just for that alone. I also saw the LGN Magnum P.I. figure with the car. What? That's my holy grail. How much was it? Starting bid, $2,500. Damn, that's a lot of money. I haven't seen a number that high since I saw the second episode of MASH back in 1972. A lot of crazy stuff on eBay and a lot of crazy prices. Yeah, I saw someone selling a Dr. Plansky trading card. Not just a trading card. It was the trading card that came with a Dr. Plansky figure. They didn't have the figure. They just had the trading card. I really could use that. Sir, sir, sir. They're a few miles from Clovis. If we're going to get them, we better get them now before they reach the city so we are not detected. Overpower the car. Beam them all aboard. Yes, yes, sir. Wow, that sign said three more miles to Clovis. Yes, we're almost there. Can't believe it, we made it. What, what, what's that sound? I've got a bad feeling about this. What have we here? The former student, Mr. Kenobi. It's not Kenobi. You have the wrong guy. I'm just a cards player. Save it, Obi-Wan. So why are you helping Junkman? Why are you protecting the toy collectors? They're good people. They're just enjoying a hobby. Liar! They enriched the corporate toy companies, the one that made me. Look, it was a crazy time. Hasbro, like the other guys, was mass-producing toys at a record rate. Producing. More like cloning. I used to be unique. One of a kind. They called me a first shot. Now I'm just one of millions. They only saw me as profit. Look, I'm not defending the toy companies. They care about profit, but it's not the collector's fault. They buy it. They give them the profit. So you want to destroy the toy collecting hobby just so they don't mass produce toys anymore? What about the kids? Kids don't buy action figures anymore. It's the collectors and they will buy anything at any cost, even if it's crap. Wait, it was you. It was you that's been posting all those strange, crazy Craigslist ads. It was some foolish attempt to destroy the market. Not all of them. Most of them were real, made up by crazy, greedy people. I just sprinkled in a little extra crazy into the mix. So like that post from the guy asking $250 for a burnt loose Skywalker figure? That was you? Guilty. What about the post of that guy selling his childhood Tauntaun from 1977 to get his car fixed? Was that you also? Of course not. I know the Tauntaun was not released until 1980, and that photo was a 90s Tauntaun. I am not that crazy. Well, what about that ad where a guy's trying to sell Mort for Mork and Mindy, the action figure, but it says it's a Han Solo, and he wants $75 in cash and to be left at a mailbox only on a Tuesday? Well, that was a genius one, I admit. I was proud of that one. Fooled a lot of people. I guess it was also you who posted that they had a very rare Cardi Blue Snuggletooth from 1979, yet the photo was a recent Funko Pop figure. Lol, I'm making it too obvious, I guess. I guess it was also you that posted the Star Wars Millennium Falcon for sale for $900, yet the photo was a broken X-Wing. That one was wrong, 
of his own doing, not my hand. What about that Clovis post, the one that the junk men and the crew were headed out to get? A lonely sad man who has to sell very rare childhood Star Wars toys that's worth millions of dollars just to support his dying grandmother in the nursing home. Ha 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 ha. I knew the junksters would fall for that one. They couldn't resist. But why? Why Clovis? Why New Mexico? Because it's the desert. A desert is made up of sand. I hate sand. I really hate sand. It's coarse. I I know, it's coarse and it gets everywhere, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter now. Soon, Craigslist, eBay, Facebook, MySpace, TikTok, anywhere there's collector's group, they will be flooded with Anakin Skywalker merchandise. So much so that the hardest Star Wars collector will have to turn away. Not if I have anything to say about it. It's time to take out the trash. And now it's time to get out of here. All of us. My hand hurts. Mine too. Dusty? Hey guys. Dusty? Chewy? Prompt time? How'd you guys get here? Looks like the old team's back together again, dogs. I guess it's clear Disney didn't make this. How'd y'all get here? We were just minding our own business, walking to get help when UFO came out of nowhere, zapped us up. Same here. And it's walking mine for a few hours. It was crazy. I had long legs. Pretty legs. Where's Obi-Wan? OMG, like who? We got picked up by this guy. He talked and looked like Obi-Wan Kenobi, but he said his name was Thaddeus. OMG, TikTok. That sounds crazy FF. What is that? Sounds like a warrant. You guys looking for trouble? Obi-Wan, I mean Thaddeus, you made it. What's going on? I'll explain later. But if you don't want to be a permanent resident of this place, I suggest you all come with me. Where? To the teleporter room, so we can get out of here. The prisoners have escaped. They may be on level 5 or 6 now, sir. OMG, I hope that old man knows where he's going. Who cares? I'm out of that little room. Turn! Oh, I really need to get in this shape. How long is this ship? Really long. And straight. I tell you, once I get back, I ain't never leaving the junk room again. Oh, I'm gonna change my life. Make you settle down. Finally marry Gladys and have a couple Smart. of football. How's this? Enjoy life. Turn! Okay, this we should be We need five rookie merchandise. How about that 1977 doodle pad? Oh yeah, a doodle pad. What about that plastic Chewbacca card? What a pose. Man, it took all day to get that pose. Turn! How about the vintage Chewbacca Christmas card? Now that was scary. Turn! Remember when they did the holiday special spin-off book? Now that was scary. Turn! How about the Chewbacca backpack? I need that dog. What? You look like you just got a humpback if you wore it. What about that creepy 1978 Chewbacca dog? Hey, wait, what? Turn! How much farther? Close the blast doors. Close the blast doors. Okay, teleport. But how? The control pad. Someone has to stay and press the button. But if someone's pressing the button, that means one of us will have to... I'll do it. I'll stay and do it. No. No, Chewie, you can't do it. There there has to be another way. Yeah, throw a shoe at the button. It's all right. It's all right. I know what I'm doing. It's the only way. Goodbye, friend. You're the best Wookiee a guy like me could ever have. It's been fun. Don't let Larry give you too much trouble. And I'm sure we'll see you again one day. Take care, gangster. Take care. Okay, teleport. Goodbye, dog. Goodbye, Chewie. I love... We're back. We're back in the junk room. We're back home, guys. Oh, 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 
What an ordeal. What an ordeal. OMG, you like teeth thought, where's my hat? I don't know where your hat is. You're back there in the room. I said, come on, get your hat before we leave, and you didn't do it. That's why you always listen to PTC. Oh, God. Let's never leave the room again. <laughs> We're all back. Uh, not all of us. Gangster Chewbacca didn't make it back. Yeah, I guess we're not all back. We lost Gangster. He's out there somewhere in a galaxy far, far away. Hey, but we did get a new friend. Thaddeus Blackstone. Welcome to the junk room. Thank you for having me here. It's really good to be a part of your little community here in the junk room. Well, now that I think that's all over, what are we going to do now? Just celebrate? I mean, we don't have to make a video today. I think we've done enough work for this week just going on that long road trip. Well, it seems our work is not completely done. Not just yet, my friend. I mean, there's still an issue with that plastic Anakin toy? Yes, there is. The alien he commands are still out there, and the plan is in motion. I, I gotta know, what's the whole story with that guy? Well, you see, he was a prototype figure. A first shot, if you will. And he thought he was one of a kind. But he wasn't one of a kind, because Hasbro mass-produced the figure. This upset him so much. But honestly, he's not even the first shot. He's just one of the many produced figures. He just thinks he's the first shot. So his plan was to fill the collector's space with Anakin merchandise to show that toy collectors will buy anything to line the pockets of the greedy sellers and corporations. And this will show the aliens that it's time to destroy Earth. So the plan's already in motion. Soon, every collector group's gonna be flooded with Anakin merchandise. And then the toy collectors are gonna see there's just too much Anakin stuff out there. They're not even going to want to go to collector's forums and groups and eBay. Well, Obi-Wan, I mean, Thaddeus, how can we stop this? You have to show the aliens, as they'll be watching, that there's already tons of bad Anakin merchandise out there. That releasing new ones to the collector markets will do no good. So you want me to do a video showing bad Anakin merchandise to let those aliens that follow him know... That there's already bad Anakin merchandise out there and it doesn't do any good. Collectors still gonna buy Star Wars. That's it, Junkman. The aliens will race back to the galaxy if you do this. There'll be no need to follow Anakin anymore. Genius. Genius. Guys, we can do this one easy. Y'all ready? We'll look at 10 Anakin related merchandise that's just, oh, god awful. And we'll show those aliens and if there's any more clone Anakins out there that, hey, there's already horrible Anakin toys out there on the market. They don't have to flood anything. So, let's start with number one. Number one? Uh, where else will we start? Number four? Always start at number one. <laughs> Good point. Good point, Larry. We always start with number one. Okay, anyone want to go first? Dusty? OMG, TikTok. How about this Anakin figure that comes with a plastic helmet and goggles? OMG. Ugh. I can understand wanting a little Anakin figure, but not with a molded on helmet. I mean, at least let me make the helmet come off or the goggles lift up or something. PTC, you got something? What about an Anakin Skywalker sock? A sock! An Anakin Skywalker sock! Oh, if there's anything worse than getting socks for Christmas, it's getting Anakin Skywalker socks for Christmas. Whew. Larry? How about this Anakin Skywalker mug? Yep, that's a mug. Who would drink out of such a thing? Ugh. That's a mug? If you didn't tell me that mug, I wouldn't even know. There he is with those goggles again. I don't even remember wearing goggles. I guess he wore it during the pod race, but I don't even remember him having goggles, or at least none. He can't even see through his eyes. How does he see out of them? <laughs> oh, Thaddeus? What about this Anakin action figure that looks like he's got two black eyes? Looks like someone punched him in the face. Oh, that is a bad Anakin figure. Whew. It reminds me of that bad Attack of the Clones Anakin. He just has that weird disco pose. Look at uh, And that weird looking face. It looks like a generic face. I wouldn't even know that was supposed to be Anakin if he just cut the head off and, and put it out there. Let's see. Anyone got any more, Dusty? Any more you want to add? OMG, TikTok, what about this Anakin figure that looks like it comes with, OMG, a dildo? Oh, Dusty, whoa, that's pretty racy even for you. But it does look like he's holding that. But then again, Sami Skywalker... She didn't have no man. She didn't have any. But I guess she has a Waldo whenever he was in the mood. You know, she was his slave. So you can just guess what's going on there. 
but uh, I guess she needed, you know, got to have a happy time for herself also. It's not all sand and roses on Tatooine. Uh, PDC, what you got? What about this Anakin Skywalker candy that comes with a bus? Ooh, yeah, like a pack of cigarettes. I'm not even sure that was candy. Ooh, Larry? What about this stupid looking Anakin plush doll? Oh, brother. Ugh, it's got a scar. Ugh, that thing is so ugly, it looks like it would be a character in one of my videos. <laughs> no offense, guys. No offense. Um, Obi, give us one more. Anakin Skywalker's pod racer, but turned into shoes. That's right, turned into shoes. Ah, pod racer shoes? Woohoo, that is bad. That is bad. Who would wear that? Can you imagine wearing that? Whew. If death doesn't prove that those aliens and fake Anakin Skywalker toys that... There's already bad Anakin merchandise out there. Blood flood the market's not going to do anything. I don't know what will. Man, that is some bad stuff. Well, guys, I don't know about you, but I haven't eaten in like five days. And I just need a break from the journal room. So, hey, let's all go down. Her Mandalorian's out. The new Mandalorian season. Let's go watch Mandalorian. And, hey, we'll uh, do something to honor the memory of our beloved Gangster Chewbacca. Well, I want to thank you all for helping me get back to the junk room. And I want to thank all of you for watching the adventure along the way. And helping us free the galaxy of an Anakin clone. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Thumb us on my content. We'll talk again soon. Thank you for helping me, Primetime Charlie. Do you think you can reprogram this toy so he's not evil anymore? And he can help out the junk man in the junk room. It is me, Anakin Skywalker. Thank you for fixing me. I want to do good now. Let me focus the camera. I am good. Thank you for the help. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>